In today's video, how the hell do you calculate how many calories you need? So although there are lots and lots of formulas and calculators out there on the internet, so the formula I personally use is called the Mueller formula. And for this, you need your lean weight in kgs, you need your height in centimeters, as well as your age. Three things. In order to get your lean weight, just subtract your estimated body fat percentage from your actual weight and that's gonna be your lean weight. So if I'm 100 kgs and I'm at 10% body fat, my lean weight would be 90 kgs after subtracting 10%, which is 10 kgs. Step one, multiply your lean weight by 10. Step two is to multiply 6.25 into your height in centimeters. So if my height is 200 centimeters, which it's not and would have been nice if it was, then I multiply 200 into 6.25, which comes out to be 1250. Next, add the values that you got from step one and step two. If you're a man, add five to this value. And if you're a lady, subtract 161 from this value. And to finish off, multiply your age into five and subtract that from this value. This is gonna be your basal metabolic rate. Next step is to calculate your TEF or thermic effect of food. So for TEF, we usually take a value of 10% of the total number of calories that you're eating in a day. So if I'm eating 2000 calories, 10% of that is 200 calories. I add that to my basal metabolic rate. Next step is calculating your NEAT. Now, depending on how active you are, your NEAT value will change. But usually, people tend to spend about 150 to 250 calories in their NEAT values, especially if you've got a sedentary lifestyle. And throw that into that mix, man. So this is gonna be your total daily energy expenditure for a day when you're not doing any exercise. Now, if you're exercising for an hour and spending about, let's say, 450 calories on an average, add that to this value, and that gives you your total daily energy expenditure on a day when you're training. But is this hard set? Is this the final value? No, not yet. So try going an entire week and keeping this value as your exact number of calories that you're consuming. If you're gaining weight, that means that you've probably overestimated this value and you need to bring it down to a level where you're gonna maintain your weight. If you're losing weight at this number of calories, that means that you've miscalculated and you're actually burning a lot more than what you've actually calculated. So this will help you calculate what your estimate calorie intake is. If you wanna maintain your weight, stick to this number of calories. If you want to lose weight, decrease the number of calories you're eating with respect to this number. If you want to increase your weight, then increase the number of calories with respect to this number. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope it was informative for you. If you did, leave me one of these. Hit the subscribe button and watch one of these other videos because you know, as soon as you start watching more of my videos, you're gonna get smarter, you're gonna get leaner, you're gonna get so much more sexier. So stay tuned for the next video.